All right, guys, let's have a conversation about Collider. I'm pretty sure by now everyone knows that Collider is not going to be what they used to be. They've canceled all of their shows pretty much. You know, Ruler 2 is gone now. Um, Collider Movie Talk, Mailbag, all that's gone. Mark Fernandez, CEO of Collider, he had a live stream last night and he he pretty much confirmed a lot of what was going on over there. And he even addressed the Jack Hine situation. Jack Hine put out a very, very insensitive tweet, uh, mainly geared towards the people that were laid off. And Collider, they laid off quite a few people, quite a few people of their uh, talent. And a lot of the subscribers and the fans of Collider, they're not liking this whatsoever. I mean, the Jack Hine tweet, really didn't help the situation at all. Now, Mark Fernandez on his live stream, he even acknowledged that Collider Video was losing a lot of subscribers. So I went to uh, Social Blade and actually looked it up. And Collider Video is really, really going down in flames. They have lost over 11,000 subs last 30 days, but if you actually look at it, it's really been since Thursday. They are losing so many subs. It's, in, it's insane. Now, they have 6.1 million views for the last 30 days. Now, to me and you, you know, that's pretty good. But when you have a multi-million dollar studio, when you're a corporation, you need to be driving in more views than that to get the revenue. Because it's all about, you know, profits and loss and that kind of thing. And I have been looking at Collider's um, views. They just don't get the amount of views that they used to get. I remember when Collider Jedi Council, that was a must see. Big time must see TV for me, you know, every uh, Thursday, I believe it was. But once people started going away, once there was no hard off, no snap no campia. I just kind of tuned out. I mean, the people that they had on there, um, not a big fan of Emma Fife, Rotsy Stryer. Nah, they don't really do anything for me. And also what, what I don't think helped also was they're, they have pretty much turned into a bunch of shills over there. And when you start shilling, you know, I think your fan base, your subscribers, they're going to see, that you're just not that authentic. You're just not that authentic. And if you don't know, Campia is the one that actually really kind of built the video side of Collider. He is the one that built it up from the ground up. And if you look at the way the content is today, well, I guess it was now because considering there's not really any more of those videos anymore versus the way it used to be during the hard off snap and campia days, it's a huge drop in quality, huge drop in quality. Now, when it comes to Collider's future, you know, they're going to be doing the whole deep fake thing and everything like that. And that's great. Um, the deep fake videos are pretty cool. They're actually really, really funny. But the thing is, I don't think that's going to be a long-term success. It's not going to bring any long-term success. It's kind of gimmicky if you ask me. So Collider overall, will they be able to survive the long term? I don't know. Probably not on um, the way they're doing it now. I mean, they're losing a bunch of subs. Chances are they're going to lose a lot of views and they're in this situation because they weren't bringing in any revenue. And I get it. You know, when revenue is not coming in, they're a part of the corporate world. So they got to do what they got to do. But I think all of this could have been avoided a long time ago. You could have put out good authentic content instead of, you know, this shield driven content that we've been getting. And I think that really turns off a lot of people. That's why I think in all actuality, 6.1 million views really should be with all their resources and everything that should be like, 12 million views. If you ask me 12, 15 million views, I know there's individual content creators that get, you know, that amount of views a month. I mean, 
look, Star Wars theory. He's just a guy in his apartment and he is getting like 15, 18 million views a month. So maybe Collider is just too corporate, something like that. I've always said, you know, these individual people that were let go, I always believe that never, never get married to a company. Never do your own thing. You know, that's why I'm doing my own thing here in my home office. Maybe one day I'll be bit time, something like that. And I don't know, but we'll have to see. I know it's going to be hard. It takes a lot of work, a lot of dedication. It's not easy for me to put out these videos. I mean, I don't have any resources at all. I mean, everything that you see here, I bought with my own money. So, but Collider, they had a very, very good thing and they messed it up. There's no other way to put it. Um, Mark Fernandez, he failed. There's no other way to put it. He failed as a leader, as a CEO. Collider used to be way up here and now it's just at the barrel and it's only going to get worse to me. It's only going to get worse. Yeah, they're going to do these deep faith things and it'll last for a while, but eventually you're going to need more than deep fake. Now, maybe they have other meetings behind closed doors and everything about what they're actually going to do besides deep fake. They want to do more celebrity driven content and all of that. If that's what they want to do, good luck to them. But I was actually watching Campia's video and one of the reasons why he left is that Collider wanted to go down a route that he didn't believe in. He didn't believe that's what they built up and he got out of there. And I think Harloff probably for similar reasons. Maybe they saw the writing on the wall, the future of Collider, but they knew, even knew themselves that this is not what they built. This isn't what they worked on. And they got out of there. And I'm pretty sure that uh, Harloff and Campia, they're going to be very, very successful during their own thing. I mean, Campia has been doing it for a while. Uh, Harloff, he's been doing his own thing since November. So I don't know, man. Mark Fernandez has said he's been in this business for a very, very, very long time. And he runs a corporate business. He has to make the tough decisions, but I also think you need to make the right decisions. You know, he addressed, you know, letting uh, people go same day. Honestly, to tell you the truth in the real, real world, that's what happens. You know, I worked in oil and gas before and that's what happens. They let you go same day and He's right. Legally, he didn't have to give them any kind of notice. Would it have been nice? Yeah, it would have been nice. Um, maybe he dropped some hints to them before without actually telling them. Uh, I don't really know uh, what happened with that, but it is what it is at this point. Collider, I think is dead. I think it's over. I don't think there's anything that they can really do in a short term because, you know, they're strapped for cash. You know, they I guess they had a huge payroll. I have no idea how much they were paying their talent, but obviously it had to be quite a pretty penny considering they can't even let these people on the air anymore. They cancel all these shows. And to me, it just looks very, very bleak for the future of Collider. So Mark Fernandez, I know I'm wishing him the best on um, the future of Collider. Um, He's actually not a shield like a lot, of, a lot of the other people for Disney Star Wars, but Star Wars was their bread and butter and their, their talent. They kind of were all about the Disney Star Wars and everything like that. And we know that Disney Star Wars is going down and Collider is talking about Dis Disney Star Wars like it's the second coming or something like that. I think they got out of touch with their fans. I think that's a huge reason why. They were in this predicament. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? The downfall of Collider. What do you think about the future of Collider? Reflect on the past. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me. And we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix out.